for the serious gamer. What's up, freaks? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our Ultimate Modern Warfare 2 Claymore C4 and Combination Guide for Quarry. I'm not going to show you real time, uh, you know, demonstrations. It'll take way too long. The positions are all tested uh, in public games and actually in uh, game battles. So, you want to test them out and see them in action? Use them yourself. I'll show you where to place them. Just go out there and actually do it, you lazy asses. And the objective. All right, personally, this is one of my favorite, and it is extremely effective. Place that claymore there. Now, that claymore is effective if you're going to watch the other doorway there. Most of the time, they do not see that. A lot of times, uh, the, the offensive team will come running on the outside there or thinking that they're sneaky coming in through the back, and that will get kills. Vice versa, if you're going to actually, uh, you know, want to watch the back there, you're going to sit in the back and watch that uh, ramp, or you're going to go up that way, then a claymore across the front there is also effective. Granted, I find that people are able to run by that one inside the door on this side here a lot easier for whatever reason. Now, the other one I showed you there is one that they do not expect usually. They always expect it inside, but the one on the outside, not so much. And, so, and you know what, the fact that you can actually see that, most people don't catch on to that, especially if they're in a rush. If the timer's going down, mix it up. If you've got them already inside, if you put the one inside and it killed someone last round, don't put it there again because if it's the same person, they're going to be looking for it. Switch it up, even just putting it on the outside. Those dumbasses, I guarantee you, will run into it because they're not ready for it. Places like this, in case you're running straight through, even if that doesn't kill, it's going to trigger and it's going to let you know that someone's trying to, to flank everyone. And you put it in the bush there, no one's going to see it there. This one isn't really much of a kill one unless you use a combination, uh, which I'm not showing you here. I may show you in a little bit. Uh, or you can experiment with one. Put a C4 in front of that blast. But this one here is more of a, a warning mechanism, especially if you're going to snipe from up at the top here or, uh, or be looking that way. This one, again, if you're going to A to protect, place the claymore right on the corner there. I've gotten a ton of people killed from there, even on offense. If your team has moved to A and you actually killed, put the claymore either on that corner there that I just showed you there or the one that I previously actually put the claymore down. And it gives you good protection because usually they're either going to come through oh, and they have no choice, come through the building or on the outside. And if they do come from the outside, that claymore has a high kill uh, ratio on that. Obviously, that claymore there is to protect the back. Good for defense. Um, you can use it on offense, but eh, usually they don't come that way. This one, again, usually good for uh, defense because a lot, a lot of people will try and climb up through here the time they climb up in here boom their ass is grass they get a little cream right in their uh, pie hole you can put another one up at the top there i'm not going to bother i mean these are just places that i've gotten kills to protect you can't possibly put them everywhere but if you have a well-organized clan you can cover at least six of those positions and have yourself a cream pie fest just going to squeeze one more in here uh, this one, uh, more or less for offense. If you planted the bomb at B and you might, there might be some stragglers at A, then place that one across the top there and then you, you only have to worry about the bottom two doors because anyone running through here is going to end up eating it. All right, I'm going to show a few more Claymore spots. Uh, and obviously the first one's here. Well, it doesn't matter if I grab the bomb, dumbass. Anyway... A few more when you're on offense and again I use these as sort of trailers I always especially if I have one man army on I like to leave uh, sort of a trail as I'm progressing forward I'll just constantly replace and yes you can only place two at any given time so once you place that third one the original claymore you place will explode but who really cares what it's doing is it's solidifying the path as you're moving up and it's cutting off any uh, possible entryways for the enemy to flank you so it's safe to do this and remember, you have a whole team, so if they're not a whole bunch of schmucks and they're actually, you're playing as a team, you can all sort of do this in stages and you don't have to worry about, you know, yourself getting killed all the time. As a matter of fact, it's like a landmine, very dangerous for the enemy to run through. Now, this one here, if you're on defense, you can actually run here and do this one quick. It is dangerous, uh, however, I can promise you that it is possible. You need lightweight marathon and bolt your ass down over here. Place the claymore, but you're going to want to stay in position because it's hard to get back. All right, it's time for some C4, and this one is an obvious one. Place the C4 on the ceiling. Don't place it anywhere else. I mean, that's a little bit farther back, but you know what I mean. Like, get it on the ceiling. 
way more effective than it would be, you know, on the side or anything like that because you eliminate uh, directional uh, explosion. So it sort of encompasses the the actual bomb site rather than just saying, okay, I'm going to put on the back or on a particular side. Because if you do that, you limit as to where you're actually going to be able to kill them. Same thing goes here. You actually can place it on the door frame. Stand in line with it and then look straight up and place it up there. Same thing. Extremely effective. With that one there, because of the height and everything like that, I generally have danger close on and it makes it a hell of a lot more effective. Then you can retreat somewhere safe here, especially if you planted it or if you know, you're know you guarding it and you're going to be a, uh, a big pussy like me and play uh, defensively. I don't think I'm a pussy, but a lot of you guys do anyway, so I don't care. But it'll be me blowing your ass up so you can swear at me after for being a camper. Because that's where I'm going to be, around the corner. I'm not going to be anywhere near it. I don't need to be anywhere near it as long as I can hear. Bob's your uncle and you're dead. Now I'm just going to show you a couple examples of combinations. And these are areas that are sort of um, highly used. Obviously the ladder going up top. This is an area where a lot of people will try and flank enemies. Especially if you're on defense, the enemy will try and come through there. Now you notice what happens is you place the claymore back far enough that it's not going to trigger. Now you have to actually experiment with, um, with a teammate. And you go on the other side and you make sure that it's back far enough that it doesn't trigger when they pop their head up. It has to be back just far enough so that they can actually stand up and actually shoot it so they feel safe they're like oh what a dolt it's so far back that guy totally messed that up you place the c4 on the ceiling you let him shoot it and the combination is lethal remember don't limit yourself combinations you can put almost anywhere and the ones that work the best are the ones that look like they're actually obvious like sometimes I'll place I'll show you this one here if they're coming from A and you planted the bomb at B or they're about to plant the bomb at B try and get this all in you know in position before it's planted instead of that one there which I just sort of showed you on the ground which sometimes they're able to trigger and then run back you put this one obvious so that they see it so they want to shoot it the tanks on the side there are actually will create a larger explosion but what they don't see is the C4 on the ceiling they are always tempted to shoot a claymore as they're coming through. And this way here, their ass's grass will be pushing up daisies. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.